Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. NFTs are slowly seeping into every part of society, and while they haven't been warmly welcomed, the latest area they have entered is football. In this video, we're taking a look inside Liverpool FC's first NFT collection. Number 5. What are NFTs? Digital images of apes selling for hundreds of thousands and in some case over a million dollars? An NFT? Liverpool Football Club has recently taken a decision that has not gone down very well with their fans, and that is the introduction of NFTs with their own branding. They were well aware of how this idea and product might be received, which is why they did their best to explain the entire concept of NFTs. Seeing as they were catering to an audience that is interested in football, not finance, they had to start from the very basics, and that meant explaining what an NFT actually is. They simplified the whole concept by saying that NFTs are unique digital items that are available on a blockchain. This whole NFT project has been dubbed as LFC's Heroes Club, which is a name that might get some fans to spend their money, but let's talk about another way they're trying to get fans on board. Number 4. The Polygon Blockchain Polygon is a sidechain or layer 2 solution to Ethereum which allows you to deploy in the explainer that LFC did for NFTs, one of the main things that they touched upon was the blockchain. The blockchain can be thought of in simple terms as a digital ledger, and they are one of the most controversial parts of owning an NFT or being involved in crypto as a whole. One reason as to why is because of the negative climate impact that these blockchain have, which is why Liverpool made sure to address that part. They said that they had chosen the Polygon blockchain, and the main reason for doing so was that it was one of the most energy efficient options. They went on to further say that one NFT created on that blockchain had the same impact as sending around 2.5 emails. While that might not give us any clue as to the real numbers behind the climate impact, it does do a good job at putting things into perspective. Number 3. Enticing their fans this is interesting because there's two big brands here. We got the Liverpool FC Football Club, a Premier League staple. Seeing as they're a football club talking about NFTs, they had to try to link one thing to the other, and the way they did so involved some brilliant wordplay. They said things like Thiago's pass and NFT can be a work of art. Not only that, they also involved their coach into it by saying that just like Klopp's style of play, NFTs can become part of your identity. By invoking these two names, they've established somewhat of a link between the two worlds, and this can either turn the whole thing into their favor or be received poorly by fans. If you take a look at some of the comments that they have received online about this whole project, we think that it's the latter. Nonetheless, this was not the only way they tried to get some fans to join in on the NFT project. Number 2. Benefits of Joining The one that stands out to me actually is not the football club part. But the Sotheby's part, we know Sotheby's has done these really high profile auctions of blue chip NFT projects. While saying the names of Klopp and Thiago was a good way to link the two worlds, fans would still want a definite reason to join the project, which LFC was also kind enough to provide. They listed many different things that could be gained by becoming a part of their heroes club, and some of the things included getting LFC retail discounts, getting a unique experience, and even getting to be part of some virtual hangouts. Not only that, LFC also mentioned that fans who did join would also gain access to their community forum while also getting updates on the LFC Foundation. They also mentioned guest appearances, but failed to give any details on what that meant. Number 1. Where to purchase one And it's going to be interesting to see what it takes uh, shape as as a marketplace player in the ever-expanding world of NFTs. So, if after all this, you're still in the mood to buy one of their NFTs, you might be thinking about where you might get your hands on one. Well, the answer to this question was also provided by LFC, and they said that their NFTs would be available only on Sotheby's Metaverse, which is another concept that has been gaining traction recently. This provides an additional level of exclusivity to the whole thing, and will also, no doubt, help Sotheby in gaining a bit of fame along the way. One thing that is normal about this whole thing is that you can buy their NFTs using your bank card. They also mentioned that since these NFTs are digital items, they're going to be available in a digital wallet that would be provided to users by Sotheby's platform, and they can even link their own digital wallet if they wish to do so. These are some of the details about LFC's first NFT collection. While it may have been received a bit negatively by fans, it can still provide a good source of revenue for the club. 
that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye!